It's a weekend filled with love and food, like chicken wings here, my favorite for Super Bowl Sunday. And nobody is more pumped than AJ Gators here in Norfolk, who have prepared for weeks for this big day. While the orders are coming through, cooks in the kitchen of AJ Gators have prepared weeks in advance, putting together their game plan for Super Bowl Sunday. Just for tomorrow, we ordered 600 pounds of chicken wings. So that's beyond what we sell in the store. While wings are certainly the most popular menu item across the board. Oh, yes, sir. Restaurant manager Jessica Jordan says inflation did drive up food prices, but it didn't put a dent in their plans. Our price of food is more, but you know, everybody accommodates us when we have to raise prices for certain things. So it's never really a complaint. Meanwhile, over at Baxter's, it's a similar story. It's going to be a lot of energy in the air tomorrow, so and, and we're all ready for that. We're all about that. It's going to be a good time. And to ensure customers have a good time, manager and bartender Corey Evans says they beefed up their staffing ahead of the big day. We're going to have uh, you know a few extra servers on, uh, more than likely an extra bartender on or so, and you know people in the kitchen. We always got to be prepared. For, you know, you got to be prepared for the worst. As eager fans flood the doors to root on their team. Fly, Eagles, fly. Aiden Rigger says he's confident his team will take home the Lombardi Trophy. I already made like a made a bets already, and I bet the end score is 37-34. People might hate me for it, but that's what I think. With this year's matchup between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Kansas City Chiefs, come specialty menu items from the cook themed around both teams. He's got certain burgers named after certain teams. You know, he's, he's got a little surprises up his sleeve that I guess, you know, he'd wait to see tomorrow. All a part of the playbook for fans and local businesses. In Norfolk, I'm Kelsey Jones, News 3.